Folks, this is gonna be a lot of fun because my next guest is one of the most famous dog behaviorists out there. In his latest series on Nat Geo Wild, he works miracles training and taming canine friends. And so from Caesar 911, please welcome my buddy Caesar Milan. Thank you. Good to see you, man. Good to see you, man. Good to see you. It's been a while. I know. How do you do what you do? I, I just don't understand it. Oh, it's actually very simple, because I was born and raised in Mexico, and in Mexico, the perception is different. So in America, the dog is human, and in Mexico, the dog is a dog. So therefore, we respect Could the dog. Could you say that one more time, please? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna put it to you much easier. Dogs in third world country are skinny, but they don't have psychological problems. Dogs in America are chunky, and I get to have a TV show. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not the dog, that's my point, right? So why the dog in third world country that, you know, appears more skinny and people don't care for, but he actually survives or provides his own food. Dog in America, the food comes to him. So the dog doesn't have to work for food, right? So the dog uh, gets praised by everything. So when people wake up in the morning, this is what they do. You wanna go pee pee? <laughs> as soon as they wake up. So they go from the bedroom to the sliding door, and then they have a ritual. Pippi, let's go, Pippi, Pippi. Yes, yes. Yeah. Right? <laughs> then they, get, they, they arrive at the sliding door, they, they arrive at the sliding door, and they go, ready, 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 Pippi. <laughs> I never seen a dog peeing so fast in my life. Normally dogs take their time to pee, you know, they smell, then they pee, they smell, then they pee. But when a dog is walking up in the morning, you wanna go pee, he pees really fast. That is amazing, man. But that's just pee. Now poop, people get quiet, right? And they get excited because the dog's about to poop. And the dog goes. <laughs> <laughs> and as soon as the drop comes down, as soon as the drop comes down, the human goes, poopy, yay! <laughs> <laughs> then the dog <laughs> runs to the kitchen, goes to the cookie yard, because if he doesn't get a cookie, he's gonna forget to poop the next day. <laughs> the dog gets rewarded for pooping in America. You understand what I'm talking about? I know exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> I'm finna cut all this out in my house. You've helped Oprah. Yes. You've helped Patti LaBelle. Yes. But you say you, you help train people. Well, when I help Miss Oprah, you know, as we all know, she's calm and assertive, right? She's calm and confident. But when she went into the dog world, she became a source of fear. So I come in and say, you know, very, very, um, you know, I gotta be very um, careful about it because I don't wanna lose my job. <laughs> <laughs> you know, she gets like, no more for this guy. So I ask her to, stick, to give me 20 feet of a distance because I brought my pack. So as soon as Sophie felt a different energy from me, she went and gave me my pack. And then Oprah went and did, she's never done that. So dogs don't think, they react. Sophie didn't know I was Caesar Milan. Sophie just knew that my energy was different. So the first thing people have to change is their state of mind. World transformation begins with self-transformation. So your world around you will change if you transform yeah. how you view the world. Exactly. Now folks, now after you learn this information, please don't sell your dog. <laughs> <laughs>